We've become quite used to taking photos with cameras and iPhones where we frame up on the subject using the screen on the camera or the phone. Traditionally, we haven't done that with digital SLR cameras because one of the advantages of those is how we can follow the subject much easier with the camera to our eye. However, some techniques do lend themselves perfectly to live view, which is gaining in popularity. We mustn't confuse live view with the view we get of an image for a few seconds after we take the shot. Many digital SLR cameras offer live view, which is normally something we select from the camera body. Like many other changes, we need to make it quickly and live view is generally convenient to select. Check your instruction book and see how. Once you hit the button, you will hear a clonk like the shutter firing, but it's just the mirror in your camera flipping up. It has to do that so you can see on the LCD the live view of what you're about to shoot or focus on. Live view is generally the way digital SLRs record video, and to start the video recording with our Canon 5D, it's the button in the center of the rear selector which has to be pressed to start and stop the recording. The shutter button will still take images as usual, but the shutter may sound just a little unusual because the mirror inside the camera's body is flipped up. The shutter will be quieter. One of the great advantages of live view is that we can zoom in to our subject to obtain critical focus using the zoom buttons, usually on the top right corner of the camera's body. This is a really effective way to obtain critical, confident focus when we're doing close-up or macro work. I found it a great help with a recent project on photographing glass. There's an added bonus that with the mirror flipped up, there's slightly less vibration which could also be a benefit with macro photography. There are just a couple of issues to be aware of. With live view selected, you cannot use autofocus on your camera. So if you wanted to use that, then shut off live view with the same button that turns it on. Focus the lens, and this is where that back button focus works well. Then reactivate live view. Live view will automatically close itself after a couple of minutes if you're not using it. Living on the coast of Australia, seascapes feature quite a lot in my photography, and I often use live view for that, but the technique I will describe next can be used in many other situations too. It could be dawn or dusk, and I would have my camera on a tripod with a cable release attached. With live view off, I'll tilt the camera down and use autofocus to select a spot about a third of the way into the scene. Then I can reselect live view, tilt the camera back up on the tripod to recompose the picture. I can line up critical parts of the scene with the rule of thirds composition grid and take my shots. When we're working in live view and we take a shot, we still get to see that for a few seconds and then the camera will return to live view. It's very convenient to adjust exposure when it's required and then take another shot. In another video where we look at auto exposure bracketing, I may mention live view, but if I don't, well, I have now. It's great for that too.